Hey coffee lovers, welcome back! In this episode, we will be reviewing the oldest method of brewing coffee. Coming from the Ottoman Empire, the cornerstone of Turkish coffee, the Ibrik or Seşve. Cezve. Seşve? Cezve. Cezve. The Cezve. At first glance, the Jezve looks familiar. You may have seen it in videos where they use hot sand to brew from it. It also looks like this regular pot you probably have at home to heat up milk or hot chocolate. Mainly, the Jezve is tall and skinny, and the opening is always narrower than the base. The Jezve has remained unchanged for centuries now. It is believed that the governor in charge of Yemen, Ozdemir Pasha, may have officially introduced it to Sultan Soliman the Magnificent, who popularized it around the 15th century, and lives now not only as the default Turkish coffee pot, but also in Greece and the Balkans as those were territories of the Ottoman Empire back then. This white base narrow opening shape favors steaming in many ways, which is essential to produce a good Turkish coffee. Did you know this coffee preparation was included on the UNESCO Intangible Cultural Heritage List in 2013 due to its unique taste and cultural value? December 5th, the day of its registration on the UNESCO list, is celebrated as the World Turkish Coffee Day. Amazing, right? Now back to brewing. Turkish coffee is the strongest coffee preparation. To produce that distinct flavor, it uses finely ground coffee and is not filtered at all. So be prepared to have a muddy cup bottom. Now let's brew some Turkish coffee, but be sure to stick with me till the end of the video where I'll give you a super tip to level up your Turkish coffee game. To begin, we need finely ground coffee at a ratio of around 23 grams per cup of water. We will first boil the water in the jezve, remove it from the heat, add the ground coffee and stir around 15 times with a wooden spoon that usually comes within the package. Then we place it on the heat again until the foam reaches the edge and we discard the first foam. Then we boil it until it foams once more and finally, we serve it carefully to balance out the sediments on the cups you want to serve. The resulting coffee is strong and ready to wake you up in an instant. If you love the coffee taste, but you're not a big fan of the Turkish coffee sediments, use only 70% of the extracted coffee. So if you made 200 ml of coffee, serve only the first 140 ml and leave the rest in the jezve. This will give you a cleaner cup since the sediment tend to concentrate on the bottom of the pot. Every time I drink Turkish coffee, I think of the monks and merchants 500 years ago enjoying it as much as I am right now. It has remained virtually unchanged since then, so it has more tradition than science to it. If you are starting in the world of a specialty coffee, this should be a late game addition to your set, as it is very easy to get over extracted coffee from it, and needs a lot of practice to get right every time. But when you get it, it's totally worth it. There are even championships where they enhance the traditional recipe to get the highest quality possible from the beans. Remember, we're doing a series of the best budget coffee makers. Make sure to check out this playlist and like this video if you found any of this helpful. 